Hi there, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots, and today we are making a cozy winter gnome. He's the easy build gnome with boots. Whether you'd like to use gnome ornaments or any of my patterns for boots, we're making a 15 inch gnome, boop! And if you'd like to make him, stick around. Please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. Now, speaking of crafting, join us on the Facebook group DIY Gnomes and Crafts. It'll be in the link below. Also in that link below will be our gnome supplies. I'm using a Sherpa fleece, a handmade set of beads for noses and hands, some accessories, and I'm using ornaments. So last year when I made this video, it was easy to find gnome ornament or boot ornaments and if you can't find them don't worry I have a list of a lot of shoes and boot patterns you can use with dowels all right so this is Mongolian fur we're also gonna need a 4 inch styrofoam ball and a 12 inch cone so we're just gonna create a little flat part on top of our ball add hot glue and then put the top in now if you're using dowel legs obviously this is gonna be easy for you you just press them into the circle or the ball in just a bit so in order to close this gap we're just using a little polyfill you can use just fabric or fleece wrap it around glue it and repeat until it's solid next up we're going to wrap the whole thing you don't have to wrap the whole thing in felt you can cover just the bottom just make sure there's a bit of an overhang because that will be seen so all i'm doing here it's really rough cut you don't have to make this look pretty guys and gals so I'm just going to attach the top and then turn it over and the bottom I'm just going to attach to both the styrofoam ball and to the felt itself by hot gluing it. I'm just going to pleat it all the way around. You can see the bottom isn't gorgeous, but it's going to be sitting on top of our boot, so I didn't need it to be. Okay, so f next up I'm going to create my hat and I'm using a Sherpa wool. This stuff is so forgiving and so fuzzy, like you want to lay down on it. Um, so I just rough cut, you can see I'm rough cutting the bottom here, rough cutting the sides. Now I'm going to create an outward seam. So if you don't want to create an outward seam, you're going to make one side pretty, just like this. I can't, you know, like sometimes I get so excited that my cutting you know looks like a two-year-old with scissors but okay so here's how i made the, the really thick seam i just pushed the inside together and scrunched it all the way up it gives it this really cool organic look um and it just reminds me of huga and this you know nice warm coziness and i did it all the way up and just created a faux point at the top because our styrofoam cone does not come to a point um, so the next period, uh, all I did was just make a beard. I have a hang down beard. So mine is really, really long. So I just cut a five inch by nine inch or ish, uh, rectangle of Mongolian fur and I cut it into a V at the bottom. And the reason I did that is because I want to come to a point. Now, here's a tip. Uh, just put a little hot glue at the very top so that you can position everything before you secure this guy down. Um, because you don't want to get that gunky glue all over the place. And once you have it uh, where you want it, go ahead and secure the sides, glue those down, and then you're going to pull your hat down gently around everything. And my the back of my hat came to about the top of the ball. All right, and so now I'm just going to add a couple of little buttons right to the top of this. This is just however you want to decorate. And then I'm going to create a mustache. So I created a four inch wide and the middle is about an inch. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to squish this together. So I want to hide that fabric backing. So I just split it unevenly in the middle. I'm going to glue together part of the fabric backing. It creates a little shelf and then I'm going to add glue to that little shelf and put that directly onto the beard. So I want as much surface area for this mustache as I can get. I'm using about a one inch clay ball and I'm gonna tuck it right up over the mustache and then I'm gonna glue down the hat right to the top of that gnome nose. And that just gives us a nice little sturdy point to start. All of our little guy. We're gonna turn it over and just glue one point in the back center here. And we're gonna move on now to our arms. Hello, little guy. It's coming together, right? Okay, so I cut a two inch wide by about six inches for each arm because I wanted some to tuck up under the hat. And so all I'm doing here is folding over the two rectangles. Now, you can put wire in here. You can choose to, you know, change out your bobbles. Mine was being glued to the arms, so I don't have any wire inside. But once you get it, you're going to determine your length and glue the hat 
to the arm and the arm to the body and then you're going to tack down the back of that hat always measure twice before you glue down your second arm again to the hat to the body and then glue down the back of the hat for the hands i'm using um maybe they're a little smaller than they need to be but i think they're about a half inch ball that i made with clay and you can see the cinnamon stick uh, wood bundle that I used here in this um, garland I'm gonna use that for this guy as well but birch um, birch would be really cute too if you have some birch uh, twigs that you can tie together ooh thinking about it now wish I had some birch okay so I'm just one more time for a nice tailored beard I'm just brushing everything out gluing that second hand on and now I'm going to attach the wood bundle and he smells really good because it's cinnamon all right so there you go I'm going to just glue that right to this guy's hand so that it doesn't go anywhere okay so now we're going to attach the boots and for the boot ornaments I always recommend that you put them together in the front and the back these were attached in the back but not in the front so now I'm just gonna cut off that little ornament hanger Doop. All right, now I've, I'm going to show you a different view for this. What we're going to do is make sure you like where this guy is sitting. There you go. And then we're going to attach, or, or we're going to put a generous portion of hot glue in the middle, okay? And then we're going to put this guy on. Now, it's going to take a second for him to be solid, but once that glue is secured, turn him on its side and then secure down each side of the gnome boots right to the body and you're done look at him he's so fuzzy let me know in the comments what do you think of this guy would you make him do you like the styrofoam let me know down below thanks for being here please like and subscribe to ruffles and rain boots for more crafty fun